Those who move slowly and carefully through the intertidal zone are often rewarded with finding tiny and spectacular marine creatures like the long-horned opalescent nudibranch. Nudibranch means naked gills or wearing your lungs on the outside. For aelid nudibranchs like these tiny beauties, their naked gills are part of the fancy projections all over their back called serrata. Long-horned opalescent nudibranchs are totally aggro, known for fighting with each other, lunging and biting. The winner often eats the loser. They are generalists when it comes to cuisine, eating a variety of foods from hydroids to bryzoan to clams to worms to dead animals to sea anemones. When eating animals with stinging cells like anemones and bryzoan, they have the nudibranch superpower of swallowing the stinging cells whole and storing them at the tips of their serrata for later. They steal the defense weapons of others and use them for themselves. Pretty crafty. Those serrata also contain part of their digestive tract, and they can vary in color depending on what they've been eating. You might have noticed at the head of this nudibranch that there are two sets of sensory organs. The top ribbed organs are called rhinophores, and they are essentially a really fancy nose. Since these nudibranchs don't have sophisticated eyes, they need to rely on other senses to get around and get what they need. Rhinophores are good for smelling their way around the intertidal. The lower two are oral tentacles that they use for feeling and tasting their way around, kind of like hand tongues, if you will. During low tide, you can find these treasures in a variety of places, from rocks to seaweeds. My favorite place to find them is on the underside of moon snail egg collars. If you are lucky, you might even find one that has just laid eggs. Longhorned opalescent nudibranch eggs look like pinkish coils of tiny sausage links. Make sure when you turn over a moon snail egg collar to look for these beautiful animals that you turn that moon snail egg collar back the way you found it when you are done observing. These animals only live for about one year, so they have a lot to do in a short period of time. <laughs>